There we go. Okay, so we're doing page 10. And um, yeah, it should be okay. This is talking about just who we are. Um, now let's see. Um, Rashid, would you like to start? Uh, would you like to start reading at the top there? Oh, about who we are. Yeah. Can do you have your book, Rashid, or do you need your phone to read? Uh, I will need my phone to read. I, I have it here now. Can you see it? Okay. Do you want me to make it yeah, bigger? Yeah. 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 Make it bigger. Okay. Yeah, I make it bigger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Okay. Who we are? Okay. okay. Is that okay? Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. okay yeah. Good. Uh, Canada is known around the world as a strong and free country. Canadians are proud of their identity. We have inherited the oldest con continuous constitutional tradition in the world. We are the only constitutional monarchy in North America. Our institutions uphold a commitment, commitment to peace, order, and the good government, a key press in Canada's original constitutional document in 1867, British North America Act, uh, a plea in order, liberty, enterprise, hard work, and the fair play has enabled Canadians to build a prosperous society in rigid, in a rigid environment from our Atlantic shores to the Pacific Ocean and to the Arctic Circle. So much so that poets and songwriters have hailed Canada as the great dominion very good. Okay. To understand we there. what it is. Oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, Hed. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, Rashid. Okay. I meant to I understand mean what it means. No problem. To understand what it means to be Canadian, it is important to know about our three founding peoples Aboriginal, French, and the British. Yeah, very good. Okay, very good. Now, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of different words in there, so we'll go over. Um, I don't know if everybody can see this on their screen, but it's a funny, it's a funny thing. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Um, when you have your cell phones and you try to adjust on your phone, sometimes it comes on the screen as green. <laughs> so it's just a funny thing. But um, okay, I'm just going to, just one second. I'm going to stop this and then come back just to clean the screen up. Okay, so just a second. Stop it. There we go. Clean the screen up. Okay. So let's just talk about the ideas here. Um, um, first of all, it says Canada is known as a strong and free country. I mean, that's an easy idea. Strong and free. Um, Canadians are proud of their unique identity. Does everybody know this word unique? You know what that word means? Yeah. What does that mean, Rashid? What does unique mean? It means something you have, but nobody can have it. Exactly. Yeah. Unique. Yeah. That's exactly right. Something you have that nobody else has. Yeah. Unique. Yeah. Just you. Very good. So we have a unique identity. So just Canadian. Our being Canadian is very, it's, um, no other country in the world is like Canada. That's what it's like. And then the next part, it says, we have inherited the oldest continuous constitutional tradition yeah. in the world. So that's a big statement. That's a big statement. But what that means is um, we got our, our government from England, right? So the way we do our government is from England. We do the same type of government as, as Great Britain, called a, a constitutional monarchy. We're exactly the same as Great Britain, the way we do our government. And so what, um, what that means is we inherited that. So we got that, that's about, uh, well, that's about more than 800 years old, that we, we have that old way of doing government. And then it says we are the old, we're the only constitutional monarchy in North America. 
So that means we're the only country in North America with a queen. No other countries have. Um, Mexico doesn't have a queen, and the United States sure doesn't have a queen. <laughs> so that's 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 unique about Canada. We're unique. And then the next three things here, I, I want you to remember these words because these are very very important. These will come up a lot. It says peace, order, and good government. Okay, peace, order, and good government. Those three things uh, are very important, and so they will come up many times when we talk about this. And that will probably be a question on the text. Peace, order, and good government. That's what, that's what the, um, they want. That's when they started Canada, they wanted Canada to follow these three things. Peace, they wanted peace. We don't want wars. We want order. We want things to be organized. And we want good government. Those are the, so that's very important. Try to remember those three things. And then it says the, our, our constitution um, in our constitution is our, our big ideas, our big ideas for laws. And then I'm just going to mute a couple people here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, just one second. I'm just going to mute a couple people because I got some background. Noise. Okay. So if, oh, there we go. Okay, good. So we have um, our Constitution of 1867, the British North America Act. Okay, so these are all things. We will learn more about these things. You don't have to remember everything. But try to remember peace, order, and good government, and the British North America Act. Those are things to remember. Good. And then um, the other things to remember here talks about a belief in ordered liberty, ordered liberty. Um, so that means um, you can, we can, we are free to do things, but we are not free to do everything. It means we can do many things. We are free in Canada, but we have many laws. So we can't, we're not free to do everything. That means ordered liberty. Enterprise, that means, um, you know, we're um, doing businesses, working hard, and fair play. They help build, make Canada a prosperous society. So that means a rich country. Yeah, very good. And then there's one other thing here. Um, it says, so poets and songwriters have hailed Canada as the great dominion. The great dominion. Okay. Does everybody understand this? So we have a lot of people today. I don't know how many people. This is the most we've ever had, I think. So I, could, I, see, a lot of, I see a lot of familiar faces today. So um, just so everybody knows, if you're, if you're, this is the first time here. If you don't understand everything today, um, don't, don't worry. We will record this and I will put it on, the, on my YouTube channel. And you can, you can go back and check it and make sure you understand. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Um, now, the, what we're going to talk about now. <laughs> I just got to mute somebody here. I don't know who has a little <laughs> Let's see. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, it says the three founding peoples. Now we're going to talk about the three founding peoples. What is that? When you say founding peoples, I wonder what that means. Does anybody know what that means when... Anybody want to, every, you're all muted, I think. So you, if you want to speak, you have to unmute yourself. Um, but does anybody know what a founding peoples means? Anybody want to try? Any ideas? Founding peoples. That's okay. Maybe you're all muted, so you can't speak right now. But what to, a founding peoples is, these are the three groups of people that made Canada. That's what it means. So Canada was made as a country. It took three groups of people to make Canada. The Aboriginal people, French people, and the British people. Okay? So let's talk about the Aboriginal people. Let's try this one here. Aboriginal people. Okay. So everybody, if you have your books, we're on page 10, and we're just doing the part about who we are. Let's see, we have so many people to read today. 
Let's see, Diallo, would you like to try reading this where it says Aboriginal peoples? Would you like to do oh, that? Please? Okay. The ancestors of Aboriginal people are believed to have migrated from Asia many thousands of years ago. They were well established here long before explorers from Europe, Europe first came to North America. Diverse, vibrant First Nation culture were rooted in religious belief about their relationship to the creator, the natural environment, and each other. Yeah, very good. Perfect. Perfect pronunciation. Um, again, maybe some big words, but easy ideas. So um, when people came from England and France to Canada, people were, li people were living here. They were, al they were already living here. And so if people ask, where did, where did the people come from? And so many people think that Aboriginal people came from Asia. So when you, when you think of a map of, of the world, you think of Canada and you look at the, like the north of Canada. And then you look at Russia and there is a, and there is a uh, sea between Russia and the north of Canada. But many people believe that many, many years ago, it was ice. It was all frozen. And so people walked across. Many people believe that people walked across to, to Canada from Asia thousands of years ago. Okay, good. And then it says, um, uh, so there are people living in Canada thousands of years before people from Europe came, many thousands of years. This says diverse, vibrant First Nation cultures. Remember this word diverse? Does anybody, Gazala, do you know what this word diverse means? No. Do you know what that word? Uh, Rashid, do you know what diverse means? Is, is it yeah. close to dive? Diverse? Divers who swim in, in the sea, something, dive? Oh, it sounds like, yeah, divers. No, <laughs> it sounds like that. No, but what it really yeah. means is diverse means uh, means many different, like, like you have uh, diverse Diverse okay, groups. You, yeah. People are very, very different. Diverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the people living here, Aboriginal people, were diverse. They had many different cultures, and they had many different uh, beliefs and religions. And um, but they were all they were all the same in that they lived a natural. Uh, they believed in nature. They believed in nature. Nature was the most important thing. Yeah, so that's so when uh, when Europeans came here, they met the Aboriginal people, and they were they were diverse. They were very different groups, but they all believed that nature was the most important thing. They all lived with nature and the Creator. So they didn't say God. They didn't say a God. They would say the Creator. That's what the Aboriginal people would say. That means somebody who created you, who made you, the creator, is the, what they call their God. Okay. Now, does everybody, I know a lot of you are muted right now, <laughs> but if you don't understand, just unmute yourself and I'll explain. Does everybody understand this one? Yes. So, yeah. It's okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Now, who else do we have today? <laughs> um, let's see. Um uh, Manal, would you like to try reading the, the next part where it says Aboriginal and Treaty Rights? Would you like to try doing that one? I don't know. Manal, is that okay? Yes, teacher. Could you, could you read the next part where it says Aboriginal and Treaty Rights? You do that one. Okay. Aboriginal and Treaty Rights uh, are in the Canadian Constitution, territories, right where first grow, grown up through the role promotion of 1763 by King Group all and explain explosion the faith from 
negotiation with the newcomers. Third is that was not always fully rescued. Respected. Respected. Yeah. yeah, you can stop there. Good. Okay. And then, very good. So I'm going to read this again. That, that was some difficult stuff. And Shafi, I see you have your hand up. I'll just be a second. Okay, Shafi? Um, this one says, Aboriginal and treaty rights are in the Canadian Constitution. So Aboriginal, we know. That's the people that lived here first. Yeah. Treaty. Do you know, know what a treaty is? you know what this word treaty? Treaty. Pardon me? A, a, a treaty is like a... Um, a treaty is like a, uh, a contract. Okay. One second. I'm just going to organize it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So a treaty is a contract. So when the, um, when the, your people from Europe came here, they made, uh, they made contract with the Aboriginal people. They couldn't just say, okay, now, we are from Europe, we come to Canada, give us your land. This do do that. There's no way. So they had to make, they had to make uh, uh, bargains. They made a contract. And that's what a treaty is. A treaty is a, is a contract they, the people made with the Aboriginal people. And so this one says that the treaty rights are protected in the Canadian constitution. Remember we did that about the, we did uh, rights so that's in the Canadian Constitution, <inaudible> Aboriginal people. And then the next part is territorial rights. Were you first you guaranteed you through the Royal Proclamation of yeah. 19, 1763 by King George III. Okay, there's a lot of information. So that means that Aboriginal people have the right to land. So right now in Canada, Aboriginal people control their own land. The Canadian government doesn't control the land. So that's that's a very important thing. That right now, uh, Aboriginal people control their own land. Yeah. The Canadian government doesn't control their land. Good. Okay. And then, um, and then finally it says, um, most, these contracts were made, but sometimes the Canadian government didn't always... Uh, um, didn't maintain or always follow the contract. They took advantage of the Aboriginal people. Does everybody understand that one? Everybody's quiet, so I guess you're all muted. I'll, I, I hope everybody's happy. <laughs> I'm understand so so okay, Not good. Exactly. Okay, good. And let's see, Mohammed, would you like to do the next part where it says from the 1800s until the 1980s? Would you like to do that part, please? Yes, okay. Okay. From the 19th uh, until the, the 1980s, the federal government raised money for Aboriginal children and resident school, schools to uh, Edict and if I ever, yeah, I yeah, 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 Okay, let's see everybody here. We got okay. So yes, um, Aboriginal children were in residential schools to educate and assimilate. And then Mohammed, you see, can you keep going on the top here? Assimilate them into mainstream. Can you do that part? Yes, too? yes, sir. Them into ministry, uh, Canadian, uh, three the school were uh, poorly, poorly founded and impacted uh, hardship on the students. 
Tamam abi bir saniye. Onda. Aa yine de. Bu bir yandı galiba. Hadi öyle lan. Okay. And then Aboriginal lang- language. And cultural cultural uh, practices where masonity fight probated in 2008 Ottawa formally uh, obliged to the farmers students yeah very good okay so um very good so this is a so aboriginal people were living in Canada um from the 1800s to the 1980s that's a long time that's almost 200 years 18 well more I'm sorry 100 years so that's a long time that's maybe about 100 years um the government did a did a very bad thing very very bad thing to aboriginal people so what the government did is very bad they um they wanted to educate the children the aboriginal people so the canadian government and mostly churches they made the children leave their families and go to special schools and so they would uh, teach the children english and uh, and canadian things and then the children um didn't know their they they lost uh, touch with their own families and it was very very difficult and a very very bad thing for canada to do so the canadian government for about 100 years took children from their families and made them go to special schools and um they thought the canadian government thought they were helping the children but but they we know now that this was a very very bad thing and so they called them residential schools, residential schools okay and so what they did was um they um they wouldn't let them speak their own language they made them speak english and they wouldn't let them do their own cultural things they stopped them they said it was bad to do those things um And then in 2008 the Canadian government apologized. They said they were sorry to the many students and they gave the students money for for the mistake they made. So this is a very bad part of uh Canadian history the way uh aboriginal people were treated for many years for 100 years. So yeah it's important to know this because Canadian government has made mistakes and this was a very very big mistake. Yes. Okay, and then Shafi, did you have a question? I just wanted to check. Shafi, did you have a question? No. no. Okay, it's okay. We yeah. just—I'm sorry. We have so many people today. It might be confusing with so many people, but we're just going to go slow, and we're on page ten, and we're just going to dis- what we do is we discuss the ideas, and then we answer some questions. And all these questions will be questions that are on the um, Canadian citizenship. Okay, so we go slow, we understand the ideas, we answer the questions, and then we know what we're, we know what uh, will be on the test. Okay, good. And then who wants to read the, who, who wants to read uh, the uh, next part? Me. Any volu- volunteers? Me, me. Oh, who's, who's me, who's me, me? Gazala, Gazala. Okay, okay, go Gazala, you can do the I next part. <laughs> I need to try now. <laughs> okay, you do the next one. In today's in Canada, Aboriginal people enjoy renewed uh, uh, pride, pride and uh, can confidence and have mood uh, sing significant 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 uh, Achievements. Achievements. Achievement in uh, ar, 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 no, ar, agriculture. Agriculture. Argi, agriculture. Argi, the government. Uh, bis, uh, 
business and and uh, the art. Very good. Art. Okay. Very good. Okay, you stop. We'll stop there for this one because there's some big words here. So, so um, in today, now in Canada, Aboriginal people are proud. They're very proud because they have um, they have made some very important. Um, they have helped Canada in many very important ways. Um, so they have renewed pride. That means they're very proud and confident. They are, they're, they feel strong. And so it says they have made significant achievements. That means they have some done some very important things in yeah, agriculture. Agriculture just means um, growing food. Um, the environment, that you know, the environment, nature, business, and the arts. Yeah, so now in Canada, Aboriginal people... Um, they feel strong, they feel proud to be Aboriginal, and because they have done some very important things. Okay, so that's, that's what, in the past, Canada was very bad to the Aboriginal people um, many times. But now, Canada has changed, and the Aboriginal people have changed too. They are, now they are strong and proud, and we still make mistakes. But um, uh, we are trying to be better. Everybody is. Everybody is trying to be good to the Aboriginal people in Canada. Very good. Okay. So do, um, let's do the, the next part. So in the Aboriginal people, there are three types of Aboriginal people. Okay. There's three types, three groups. Sorry. There's three groups. And they're, and they're very different from each other. Okay. The one group is called uh, Indians. Um, the other group is called Inuit. And the third group is called Métis. One is called Indians. The second one is called Inuit. And the third one is called Métis. And then uh, later we changed the name from um, um, Aboriginal to uh, uh, we used to call them First Nations, but now we call them Aboriginal. Okay, so let's see. Uh, who who we get to read now? Um, Rashid, would you like to read this part where it says Indian refers to? Would you like to do that part, please? Okay, okay. Indian refers to all Aboriginal people who are not Inuit or Mits. In 1970s, the term First Nation it's begun to be used today. About half of First Nations people live in reserve land in about 600 communities, while the other half live in live off reserve, mainly in urban centers. Yeah, very good. Mainly in urban centers. Very good. So the one group called um, First uh, called Indian. Um, so they're the biggest group. So they're, they're very, very big. Um, and they mostly live, um, half of them live on um, reserve land. That Remember I said the Canadian government doesn't control the land. Um, the, the, the Indian people control the land, it's their land, they control it. Um, so half of the people live on that land. And then the other half live in, usually in city. So in Kitchener, we have many people, Aboriginal people living. Has, does, anybody, does anybody live in Kitchener? I live in Kitchener. Does anybody else live in Kitchener? You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you, know, do you know Victoria Park? Yeah. Did you see, have you seen the Aboriginal people in Victoria Park? Have you seen them there? In Victoria Park in Kitchener, they have, they have tents set up and they have a teepee. They have an Indian tent. And uh, they're, they're living there. They're living in Victoria Park. Now. So if you go to Victoria Park, you can, see, you can see the teepees and the tents from Aboriginal people. Yeah, so that's, we have many peop Aboriginal people living in Kitchener. Yeah, okay, good. I see, I see them uh, in Brantford. Yeah, there's lots. I was just going to say, Brantford is very, very uh, big group. Every, everything in Brantford is different uh, for Kitchener or 
uh, all the cities here. That's right. Yeah, Brantford, um, they have the six, they call the six nations in Brantford. Yeah, exactly. And, and they have, uh, in the summertime, they have powwows. If you ever have a chance to go, it's a, it's a big dance uh, song party. And it's really fun. If you ever have a chance in the summertime, try to go to a, an Indian powwow. They're called powwows in Brantford because they do this really amazing dance and great food and good music. You can see a, a picture on the side on your book there. You see this, this, uh, this man here dancing with the hoops and that. That's from a powwow. They do all different dances and it's a lot of fun. And they have a really big, big powwow in Brantford. Yeah, and Brantford's not far from Kitchener. Yeah, very good. Okay, so let's see the time. We got 7.33. Let's try to do a few questions. So remember, there's three types of Aboriginal people. We're only going to do Indians today. Um, and we'll do Métis and uh, Inuit um, the next day. And then we'll also do the English and the French. Okay, but let's, let's see for today. So let's try to do some questions. Okay, now see if we can remember some of the stuff. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of people. Let's see. Who wants to try the first question? Um, let's see. Um, who came Manal. in first? Who was the very first to come? Manal. Manal was the very first to come today. Manal, would you like to try the first question? Okay. Can, Canada is not the only constitutionally monocar? Monocar? Monarchy. Monarchy in North America. Okay, teacher. I'm a check. True teacher. Kennedy is not the only constitutional monarchy in North America. <laughs> but here we are the Alo Constitution. What yeah, you yeah. call in North America. But this one says, the question is, is Canada is not. So is false. that true or false? False. Yeah, yeah, that's false. We yeah. are the yes. only constant. Very good, very good. Mama best. Okay. Okay, very good. And I'm going to mute you, Manal, because your kids are very excited. Okay. Can you mute there, Manal? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Rashid, would you like to do this one? Yeah. What is the key phrases in Canada's original constitution, constitutional document? Okay. Uh, it's peace, order, and the good government, number one. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, always remember that. That comes up a lot. Peace, order, and good government. Those three things. Very good. Okay. And then um, let's see, uh, Mohammed, would you like to try this one? Yes, sir. What is the name of Canada's original commission uh, document? It's number two. Okay, this one is at the top. If you look at page 10 in the green part of on the book, Number you see one. that green part at the top? It's about it's about in the middle there. The British North, a British North America? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the British North America Act. Yeah, British North America Act. That's right. Good. And now let's see. We we'll keep going. Um, uh, let's see. Diallo, would you like to try this one? I'm not sure when you when you joined Diallo. Maybe I think you joined this one. Okay. okay. Name three periods that have enabled Canadians to build a pros prosperous society in, ro in a rugged 
environment. Do you understand the question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Number one. Okay, so this says um, three beliefs um, that have oh. helped Canada build a, a rich country in a, in a difficult in, environment. So let's see, do you think buying houses would be one of those beliefs? They're trying to trick you here. They're trying to trick you. I don't think, I don't oh, think you need to, I don't think you need to, yeah. You probably don't need to three, buy Three, I think three. Number two. Number three. Okay, and so driving cars, does everybody have to drive cars? I think it's no, three. No. three. Number three, let's try number three. Hard work, fair play and... Yeah, yeah, let's try that one. Yeah, very good, hard work. We all, you, got, you all work hard. I all know you work very hard. And fair play, that means being fair. And then ordered liberty. Remember we did that ordered liberty? That means you're free but you can't, you're not free to do everything you want. It's ordered liberty. Yeah, those are the things. Very good. Okay, who else is, um, who else is in the, who is in the class today that we can ask? Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, Gazala, would you, did you do one yet? Yes. You did one already? Yes. Okay. Um, Let's see. I'm not sure. Shappy, I think you came in late, so I, I don't want to ask you right now. Um, let's see. No, How about... I'm, um, Ryan, I I'm, I'm, I'm didn't uh, ask... Oh, who, is, who am I talking to? No answer any question. Okay, who, who, who said that? I can't see your... I can't see Gazella. Your. Okay, Gazella. I'm sorry, Gazella. Okay, go ahead then, please. <laughs> okay. What can uh, of a uh, community Common at do Canada in uh, situations you fo you fault. Yeah. So, what kind of commitment do Canadian institutions uphold? You understand okay. the. So that means what um, what do Canadian institutions? That means what do they what do they think are the th uh, the three most important things? Okay. Remember I we think, talked about this one? Okay. I think number one. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Canadian institutions, that just means like governments and things like that. Yeah, peace, order, and good government. That comes up a lot. So try to remember that. Peace, order, and good government. If you don't know the answer, just always guess peace, order, and good government. <laughs> it's probably the right answer. Okay, let's see. Who else is here today? Um, let's see. Uh, who ha who have who hasn't answered a question? Let's see. I can't see everybody. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. Um, I see Shappy. Did you want to try to do a question? You're right now. You're muted, uh, Shappy. Right now, you're muted. This might, it's okay. This might be difficult because it's your first class. Okay. So it's okay, Shappy. I'll talk to you when we finish the class. Okay. Because it's, it's nice to see you again. We just want to make sure you do well. Okay. So let's see. Um, Rashid, would you like to try this one, please? Okay. Okay. What, ha uh, as what have poets and the songwriters held Canada? Uh, it's uh, number one, Great Dominion. Yeah, yeah. You're getting these fast. Great Dominion. Yeah. So this is poets and songwriters. They called Canada the Great Dominion. Good. Okay, good. Okay, and then um, let's see. Um, uh, Manal, would you like to do this one? Okay, teacher. Who are the three for, for the can peoples are Canadian? Canada. The three founding peoples of Canada. And you know it. Uh, first one, teacher. 
No. Yeah, yeah. First one. Very good. Aboriginal. I think it was that this one. Aboriginal made, yeah. Aboriginal. Okay, this is, but I, I know, but do you think it's the founding people? Yeah. Remember that the trick here is to remember what Aboriginal means? Three, number three. What, who, was, who said number three? Me, Diala. Okay. Man, Manal? Yes. Oh, Diala said number three. Okay. Okay, yes. so. <laughs> it's okay. All I see is your names flashing now and then. Okay, that's okay. So, um, so Manal, so Aboriginal people means, remember, it means Indian, Métis, and Inuit. Oh. So they're trying, they're trying to trick you here. They're trying to yeah. trick you with this question. So do you remember the two other Aboriginal people was one of them. Do you remember the two other groups? Yeah, and Dian. Indian was one, Metis and Inuit. Those, all those three people, all those three, three are uh, Aboriginal. The answer to this one is on, uh, is on page ten. It's at the top, and you see the green Fine. part. It's the last. It's the last sentence in the green. Part. Yeah. See it. It tells. You. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now so I understand. One? Yeah, yeah. They're trying. They're trying to trick you here. That's all. Yeah. So this one is Aboriginal, French, and British. Founding peoples means the people that made Canada. Founder. Founding. That means founders means the people that started, made Canada. So Aboriginal. Aboriginal are Métis, Indian, and Inuit, right? And then French and British. Yeah. yeah. So let's just... I don't like this one. There. Okay. Check the answer. Very good. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Diala, uh, would you like to try this one? Okay. From where were the ancestors of Aboriginal people believed to have migrated? Number four, Asia. Yeah, very good. Migrated. Very good. Asia. Remember, they walked across the ice. That must have been a long walk. They walked across the ice from Russia to, from Asia and Russia to Canada. Good. Okay. Um, now, who wants to do this one? This is a 50-50 chance. Let's see. Uh, Mohammed, would you like to try this one? Yes. Aboriginal and a treaty rights are not uh, in the uh, conditions. In the Constitution. Is that walls? Yes. Very good. They are in the Constitution. Yeah, they're protected. Yeah. They're protected because Canada wants to do uh, wants to do good things for the Aboriginal people now. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is just a number, so you're going to have to try to figure this one out. Um, Let's see, um, who wants to do this one? Um, I, this would be Kazala, uh, uh, I guess. Would you like yes. to do this one? Okay. Yes. When um, are um, Aboriginal uh, turret, 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 no, tro, 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 Territorial. Government uh, gr group knitted. Yeah, you got some good words there. <laughs> when were Aboriginal territorial rights first okay. guaranteed? Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Number four, 1763. Very good. So this means uh, their land, territory, that means the land. So that means they have the rights to the land. That's what it means. They were they, the Aboriginal people have the right to the land. The the um, European people can't take all the land. That's what it means. Okay, and who wants to do this one? Um, let's see. Maybe uh, Diala. We'll go back to Diala. Maybe. Okay. Who pro proclaimed the first territorial right, Gornetti? for the First Nation? First Nations is another word for Aboriginal. People. Number one, King George 
I don't know what's the C1. Yeah, these <laughs> are these are <laughs> so when they have when they have kings and queens, they use the same name. <laughs> so yeah. here's King George one, and his yeah. son would his son would be King George two. Oh. And you know, and this is King George three. So they just call you King George three. That means yeah. three, one, two, three. No, King George the third. Okay. Yeah, very good. Very good. King George the third. Very good. Okay, and this remember this one about the residential schools. Remember this one? So let's see. Uh, Rashid, would you like to try this one? Okay. Uh, when did the federal government place many Aboriginal children in the residential schools? Okay. was uh, from the beginning of the 1900 19, 19, until 1980 number one um so that would be uh, number three uh, yeah number, yeah number yeah, three yeah they're trying to trick you aren't they yeah yeah number three right yeah very good that's a long time uh, it's, it's not a good it's not a good thing. <laughs> that makes me a little sad when I when I hear that. <laughs> Anyways, okay, that's a long time. Very good. Okay. Um, okay, good. And then um, let's see. Um, Manal, would you like to try this one, please? Okay. To what does the throw in in dunes? In dunes? Indians. 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 Report. All, all profound. Number three. Very good. You guys are getting these all correct. Excellent. Very good. So anybody who is not uh, Métis or Inuit is an Indian. Yeah. Okay. And then um, let's see. Gazelle, would you like to try this one? This is in the last paragraph on the page. Okay. When did the uh, term first uh, not uh, shin, notions begin to to be used? Uh, number one. Very good. Excellent. Very good. And then, um, uh, Mohammed, would you like to do this one? How many first uh, notions people live? live uh, on Ravens land today. I'm not sure exactly, but I think about one third. Okay, so this one, the answer to this one is on the very, on page 10, it's the very last paragraph. So you just look there and you'll sort of find the answer to this one. It's almost the last sentence, I think. Number two. Number two. About half. What do you think, Mohammed? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly about. Okay, okay. So the last, this one is on the last, this is on uh, page 10 of the last sentence on the, in the corner there. It says today about, you see that one on page 10? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, I see land in about 600. Yeah, just the, the first words of that sentence. So how many... Uh, people, so it says today about half of First Nations people live on reserve land. That's all. Yeah. So this is about half. Yeah, about half. So that means 50% live on reserve land. And reserve land is the land that the Indians were given. It's their land. And Canada doesn't own the land. The, the uh, Indians own the land. Okay. Very good. Okay. And then um, let's see. Uh, who needs an, a question here? Um, Gazala, you just did a question, right? 
Okay, so um, Diala, would you like to do this one, I guess? Okay. What are the three means groups of Aboriginal people? Number one, First Nation, Metis, and Unit. Very good. And we'll stop there. We did 16 questions. So Diala and Gazala, your voices sound exactly the same. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you know that, but when you both talk, it's hard for me. To <laughs> That's funny. Okay. 